Councilmember Hilton. Um, so clarifying question on that. This, this would not apply to somebody that's just doing general construction. This is specifically for new construction or redevelopment, correct? This would apply to projects that meet the state's definition and income thresholds for SB 35, SB 330. So there are specific requirements that a project would have to qualify for. So would there be any code enforcement for this building that wants to change its colors? Could th This doesn't have any teeth to that building of what they can ch change the color of their building, right? I'm not sure if you're referring to an existing project. That, we were just talking about that. We were talking about a project in downtown who changed the colors of their building. This does not play a part. There's no teeth in code enforcement that can say, hey, our objective design standards say you can't have this color no, in there no. anyways. Correct. Yeah, this, this is this is, is new construction. This is someone, this is redevelopment. Correct. Right? Okay. Um, so, you know, thank you to staff and the community that got involved and the consultants. Um, you know, one of the beauties of this, and we just saw it right in front of us, is that we own this now and we can change it during the public process at any time. You got a public comment, it made sense, we changed it, you know, whether you need to change it because state law changes or council changes or, or best practices, that's, that's the best thing about this and um, I'm glad to see it here in front of us, thank you.